Hi and welcome to my new video. Today the talk is about dead state. So consider a system and the surrounding. And let the system temperature is higher than that of the surrounding. So the surrounding temperature is low. Now after some time due to the movement of heat from higher temperature to the lower temperature that is the movement of heat from system to surrounding after some time this system and surrounding will be at a same temperature that is known as the equilibrium temperature tf so at this temperature tf both the system and surrounding will be at the same temperature so the temperature will be will become constant now so at this condition there so at this condition when the system and surrounding temperature becomes equal means we can't so no heat transfer will take place so means uh, there will not be any work, work transfer will take place so at this state the velocity will be zero as i said the system and surrounding will be now at the same temperature so there won't be any work transfer there won't, will not be any energy transfer so the energy transfer also zero so at this state <coughs> at which both the system and surrounding become equilibrium is known as uh, dead state so at this dead state the pressure temperature are constant so whatever the pressure temperature energy velocity all these are constant so at this state is known as dead state the state is the final state at which system comes towards uh, the temperature of the surrounding so at this state hope you are getting it so at this state uh, so this that this dead state can be described by pressure if a system and surrounding has the pressure thermal and chemical equilibrium means then the state is known as dead state also if there is no velocity means uh, there will not be any kinetic energy so there will not be any movement so this state is known as dead state also if the potential energy is minimum means it is known as dead state so the dead state is a state at which the kinetic energy will be zero uh, the potential energy will be minimum and the pressure, temperature, thermal, uh, thermal, chemical, all this equilibrium will be identified in the dead state. So also we can state it like so system, if the system has a certain pressure, uh, say P1 and T1 means, and this, uh, this is, uh, I am just assuming the value so that you can understand it. So both these are 50 and 50 and uh, as the system the surrounding has some pressure p2 and t2 means and both these are having some 100 100 so if the system uh, and, uh, oh, and surrounding both operate start operating means then the system will value will coming will be getting nearer to the surrounding value so that uh, at some instant this two value will be equal so that is the that is the state uh, at which the system and surrounding value are equal so that state is known as the dead state so if in case 
the system moves away from surrounding means that is the value keep on decreases means so the difference will be more means the availability is also more so if the system moves towards the surrounding means the availability decrease so it can so moves towards the surrounding means this value is increasing so this value is increasing so moves towards the surrounding means this value so this is the uh, p2 t2 so this value is 100 and this is the system value which is p1 t1 this value is uh, both the values are 50 50 here both the values are under 100 so if this system moves towards that is moves towards the surrounding means this value will be increasing 60 60 like that so at this at the state at which the both the values the of system and surrounding becomes equal means so that state is known as the dead state so moving towards the system when moved towards the surrounding means the availability the difference is keep on decreasing so the availability decreases so if the system moves away from the surrounding means uh, this value will be keep on reducing so the, the difference will be getting larger so the availability for that case will be more so generally for all spontaneous process the spontaneous process means it is the natural process that is if the temperature or if you take two temperature reservoirs one is at high temperature and another is low temperature means the heat will move towards uh, the low temperature so from high temperature to low temperature the movement is a spontaneous movement so that is a natural movement natural process only so uh, no need to give any work so automatically the uh, temperature will move from high temperature to low temperature though this is known as the spontaneous process though this spontaneous process ends when the both the system temperature becomes equal so if the both the system temperature becomes equal uh, both becomes constant means so at the time the both the uh, both the system will have same temperature so if uh, both the system will have same temperature means then there will not be any temperature movement so that is known as the dead state so all spontaneous process ends at the dead state so this is the important point so that's all you have to know about the dead state uh, that's the end of this video Thank you for watching.